The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And in the temple, he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons and the money changers sitting at their counters there. Making a whip out of some cord, he drove them all out of the temple, cattle and sheep as well, scattered the money changers' coins, knocked their tables over, and said to the pigeon sellers, Take all this out of here and stop turning my father's house into a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of Scripture. Zeal for your house will devour me. The Jews intervened and said, What sign can you show us to justify what you have done? Jesus answered, Destroy this sanctuary, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews replied, It has taken 46 years to build this sanctuary. Are you going to raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of this sanctuary that was his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the words he had said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So one of the in one sense, it sounds like anyway, one of the stranger feast days the church has, the dedication of the Lateran Basilica. Why is this so important? Well, and the dedication actually is 15, 16, 1,500 years ago. Why is it so important? Because the Lateran Basilica is a very important church. It is the Cathedral of Rome. It is, you know, St. Peter's is the more famous church, but the Cathedral of Rome, where the, the Bishop of Rome, the Pope's chair is, is in St. John, the, the Lateran Basilica. So what? Well, it becomes a tremendous sign of unity of the people of God. All the parishes in the country here, Trinidad, Tobago, and this Archdiocese, have one mother church, and that mother church is a cathedral. That's where the bishop's chair is, and that's, that's the mother church. All the parishes come under this mother church. All the cathedrals now in the world come under the cathedral of Rome. The Lateran Basilica. So it's a sign of unity that everything comes under, under the teaching of the church, the teaching of the Bishop of Rome, the, the, all that the church has held for us becomes a, a sign of unity that we all belong to one church, one people, the body of Christ, the temple of the Lord. So on one level, this is what the church is celebrating, the unity of the church that we are all one, no matter what diocese, archdiocese, country, we part of country, whatever we might be in, that we are all one. And this unity is symbolized by the mother church of all churches, the basilica of the Lateran, the dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. Now, the other level, of course, that this church celebrates is us, the church. St. Paul tells us that you are the temple. Of the, whole, of, 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 of the Lord. He's building a, putting up a building, and you are the living stones of that building. That's when Colossians, he tells us, for you are the church, and he, you are the body, the church, and he, Jesus, is the head. So the other level of this, as we celebrate the unity of the church, is it's not so much to do with buildings, but to do with us, the church, the people of God. The church building is a building where the church gathers, the people of God gather. And so this feast also calls us to celebrate this and to remember this, you know, to, 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 to remember that we are the, the body of Christ, that we are the temple of the Lord. And that just as, you know, you, you, see, you see a building, a church, you see a cross on it, you see certain signs, you know, it's a church building. And so, you know, the people of God are also witnesses as the church to what God is, what God is about in the world. We celebrate this feast, we, we remember then, we thank God, we come in thanksgiving before the Lord, but also, you know, with a renewed commitment that each one of us is as we do a building block in that temple, in that church. Each one of us are part of the body of Christ. And therefore, you know, we all have to play our part. We all have to live as God would like us to live and be worthy members of this church. 
be good blocks for the building that Christ is doing.